Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Imagine Cruising 2024 World Indoor Bowls Championships. And as always, we are live from the fabulous Potters Resorts here in Hopton on Sea. Well, yes, it is that time. It's the grand final of the World Open Singles, and what a final lineup this is. Stuart Anderson going for his third title against Alex Marshall MBE, going for his seventh World Open Singles title. History could be made here, really. I mean, Alex, that, that will be history in itself should Alex win this. But also, Alex is out of the top 16 this year, so it will be two consecutive years where someone who is not in the top 16 wins the World Open singles title. That's amazing. He's got Stuart, obviously, in his way. Stuart's obviously won the pairs already at the start of these championships and uh, just lost out in the mixed pairs as well. So he'll be looking to go to the... Uh, for his third one. The arena is looking absolutely packed here in the International Arena at Potter's Resorts. Really, really good crowd. I'd also just like to uh, thank you all for, for watching us on the stream, whether it's YouTube or Facebook. So on behalf of everybody at Optical Media, World Balls Tour and the PBA, and of course our sponsors at Imagine Cruising. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the lovely comments and uh, hope you've enjoyed it. So we're almost ready to join the BBC coverage. We're going to live down to the famous portable ring very shortly, and we'll all find out together who is going to be the World Open Singles Champion for 2024. Have a great afternoon, and we'll speak to you later. Thank you very much. Yes, it is time to bring out the players for this, our World Singles Final. And the first of our players out is a man with five times former World Mixed Pairs title holder, six times World Open Pairs winner, and six times winner of this event, with a total of 14 world titles, currently ranked number 18 in the world, Scotland's Alex Marshall, MBE. His opponent has seven world titles. He is two times previous World Mixed Pairs winner and two times former World Singles Champion. And at the start of the week, he lifted his third Open Pairs trophy. Ranked number three in the world. Put your hands together for Scotland's Stuart Anderson.
Thank you, Rishi. Alex Marshall casts the first jack. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. Some people think it's very difficult when you're playing against good friends, but in many ways it can relax you a little bit. So you can play your best balls. Alex Marshall certainly did in the semi-final against Paul Foster. He was outstanding, as was Paul. It's unusually heavy from uh, Stuart Anderson with his second ball. Let's try and draw one close. And close this time. Played it very well. And Stuart just nestling in here amongst Alex two green balls for shot. Yes, the thing was Alex had to go at the deep position because he reckoned that Stuart could take the two the two balls out. Back to the draw again. <laughs> effort this is. Oh, oh, me. Well, it's one, probably one two inches, one two and a half inches away. One red. Alex's wife, Diane and Blue. Too much into that one. One shot, Stuart Anderson. Stuart's dad, first. Billy. Comes down for all the, the finals and the latter part of competitions that Stuart's involved in. Jack lengths will be interesting in this game because both players like the short jack length, but uh, Alex is much, very much a, 
a specialist at the 23 meters and it's difficult. Stuart would prefer things to be a little bit longer. He's middle length at the moment. I think eventually he will go to the 29 and a half. Good deep dive at the end of his travel in that forehand. He made the correction there from his first bow to. Yes, both players are using strong bias bowls, different manufacturers. But uh, the portable rink, there's no place for straight line bowls. I know a lot of players use them, but uh, this particular characteristics of this rink don't, just don't happen to suit them. Brilliant reply from Stuart Anderson. Six down, it's the shot. One green. It's the voice of Alan Thornhill. Marker for this match, 25 years he's been officiating at the World Championships. Oh, somebody's mobile phone is just going off and they're usually checked on the way in as well nowadays that they they know everyone knows to switch them off but uh, just occasionally right, uh, someone can forget that's very oh, good that's a great ball that really is Just breaking Super under bad. his own ball there. Weight was perfect. Finished really nicely as well because it covers the jack. Push through it. Yeah. <laughs> Alex just checking to see if the ball would fall, and it did eventually. Shots, Alex but he'd already declared it. Just shows that balls do actually drop on the so carpet if you walk around the them. I was just testing the. Uh, yeah. Just testing the carpet there. Jack Lang's putting down in a half minute.
That's better from sure. First ball to really get there. First ball and three ends. That's arrived close to the jack. Concentrating these first two bowls and two red. set that up nicely. Move on to the forehand. Jack High Bowl to rest off, just needs to come back quick. Just over the weight. The problem with that shot is if you play it with a narrower line, you probably need more than a yard or two because it does whip away very quickly. Gentle, played it well. Very good. Didn't really want to be arriving too much at the jack, and that's a perfect ball. Yeah, it's a very good ball because it shuts the head down. Do a really good close shot ball. Now the three's putting Alec under a bit of pressure here. Well, Alex is looking at what's available in the backhand. You know, he can get to that ball. If he gets to that ball, the other two will disappear. If he gets into the front green one, he could do damage, but it's speculative and he's not sure about it. He's spent a lot of time looking at it. Personally, I think he might be looking also on the forehand draw. Just try and get to this ball and drop off. If he gets a bad result on the running ball, he could be losing four shots this end. If he draws close, well, it's going to be hard to, to get the shot. But he might save one or two. Just too narrow a target on the backhand, so forehand draw. Nope. He's not going to get back unless he's perfectly weighted. Seems the last ball. Was making its way back to the centre rink. Just over the weight. was what Alex Marshall was looking for. Didn't manage it, so it's four shots to Stuart four Anderson. Shots to Stuart Anderson. <laughs> Set score five two after three. Yeah, Alex just clapping that ball in because he knew Stuart couldn't afford to be too heavy. <laughs> You can see 11 Japan ends in the final of the open singles, two sets, and then a three and tie break.
Good again from Stuart. Excellent leading. Uh, Philip Last, who went out in the first round. Once again, Stuart Anderson putting down good first balls. Following up with the third one. It's not much of a target either. My nearest green one. Alan, how far behind, please? Uh, 20 inches past Jack High. What you really want to play here is just that yard on weight to pull the jack back. Sadly, that's a difficult shot. Hence why he's going stronger at it. Swinging away very quickly. Has he got the target? First. Oh, that's a horrible result. Taking one out. Just made connection here with the shot bowl. Shin turn took one away, but his own bowl ran off. Stuart will be looking for cover now because we can, Alex can play the same ball again. <laughs> Might be tempted to go again with this because if he's able to get half the red ball he could just move the jack. But once again, it's, it has to be perfect if he plays exactly the same balls he did with the third delivery. It should be bang on target. Well, deciding on something different, going for the two balls. Very close. Oh, oh well played, played Alex Marshall. Didn't even attempt the, the trickier shot and played a perfect runner on the backhand. Yeah, it looks good all the way, but just the connection was perfect. Both balls clean out. So that's a huge turnaround. Brilliant conversion shot there. Stuart Lee, no applause for that one. I'm sure he thought it was probably, uh, it was on, but it just didn't really look like a great target. Goodness me, he played it well. Jack Knight, 23 metres. Suddenly that big four that Alex Marshall lost the last end doesn't look so bad now. Got three of them back. And now he's back to his preferred shorter length jack. Judy Potter in baby pink today. People have been buying all sorts of tickets to find out what colour of jacket she'll be wearing and they get a, a suitable prize. And the money all goes to charity. is really warming up. Oh, are you under 
shirt because it will just whip away. Mm, both that. One great. Well, Hugo, he's only a two year old in the foreground, and Rosie, four year old Labrador. That's your dream shot, Corky, both together. Oh, absolutely. It's made your wonderful. week, hasn't it? It has. They're just gorgeous dogs. I was uh, enjoying their company earlier today. Just going underneath. There's a very fine line there. If you get it right, you're right into the jack. But uh, he didn't have the weight either. I thought he was playing it a little bit more. Well, the way this is sitting, it's worth an extra yard or so. Gets the jack back, he's got two red waiting. <coughs> Definitely wider with this one. This is gonna have to have absolutely perfect weight. Yeah. Push it out wider and put the extra weight on. Score five six after five. Alex bringing the mat up, going to his default length of twenty three meters. Tight game, so he wants to change the pattern of the game a little bit. Usually goes to this length. Tap that ball into the it's shot. The same inch and a half short, both balls. One green. Stuart Anderson might be tempted with this. Keeping this very controlled. If you miss the target, you come behind the head. Yeah, that's good there. Give himself the position. Next couple of balls. Save you, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's coming up after a second ball, a regular occurrence in this event. Don't often see it. But, uh, his tummy's feeling good, feeling relaxed, likes to come up, have a look, run down again. He's obviously feeling quite fit and healthy. <coughs> uh, 
normally I do is put the bowl down, pick up the other one, reset again. Stuart getting quicker for the two bowls here. Very close. Oh, oh. Was unlucky not to get the two. Oh, that's a really bad result because he's taken his nearest one away. He hit the target perfectly. The, that shot ball just stayed. Didn't move at all. No, Jack was the best result, but that's one or two now. Hard to tell. Too close. Stuart can't get both those balls easily. Nope, and it also hasn't provided a shoulder. Definitely two. <laughs> oh, there's that cough again. It's right on his delivery just when he's about to go again. But he's in the area again. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Time. Got the result that time. Bang on target. One shot, Stuart Anderson. A very good conversion shot from Stuart Anderson. Hit the shot bowl, flicks the jack across to his waiting red for one. I'll be pleased with that after that end. Five years, Alex. Stuart Shaw, please. Seven inches. When Stuart Anderson first came onto the scene as a young player, he was uh, very heavily fancied from uh, a lot of people in Scotland, did very well. And he's built on that over the years, won this title now twice, various other titles as well. Uh, and all these years later, Alex Marshall is still very much at the top of his game.
wasn't really a gap to squeeze through there. One red. Stuart Anderson doesn't want to play the backhand simply because he could wing off his own ball and leave a target. That's why he's playing the forehand. <laughs> Played it really well. It's another shot. Another shot that hasn't made the, the target any wider at all for Alec. And Stuart has the back position too. Right. Alec could be looking to play the same, just draw off that last bowl. Well, he's got no back position very tight in the head now. Yes, you can get to the back ball, but you have to have a little bit of weight on to disturb it. And that's the hard bit. <coughs> Just over it. Two shots, Joe Anderson. Well, the bowlers know how difficult the shot that is. Trying very hard to Set's avoid corner, it. It's six after seven ends. <laughs> Jack Lang, twenty eight and a half meters. Two and a half inch gap on the red ball. Stuff. It really is super weight. That's the key to it all. Like one red. Yeah, the, the ball just dropped on the jack. Took it slightly towards the red ball. That's unlucky. isn't sure he's having a real good look at it <laughs> oh, shirt's not sure either and these guys really know how to how to look at measures shirt's saying don't worry Alec it's mine The 
think I'm inclined to agree with them. And by the look of the weight of this shot, Alex thinks it is too. Well, He's to Alex hold on. to his own front ball. Oh, yeah. wow, what a ball again. Played that very well indeed. Well, he played that with a sort of weight that's been very difficult traditionally, and he's just, he's making it look easy. Yeah, just popped that red ball clean out. The other red ball went two, to leave two to Alec. Half locked in as well. One red. Oh, this is a real game for the connoisseur, there's no doubt about it. We're getting everything. A major entertainment for anyone who doesn't play the sport. This is balls at the highest level. shot, the draw shot, we're getting everything. One shot, Alex Marshall. That end alone score is, seven after eight is a master class. deciding to go back from what he thought was going to be a 23 meter jack length and decided to <coughs> play something it's not actually something different he's brought the mat back looking for a very short jack length and that's dangerous you could lose this yeah it isn't up that's the problem with keeping the mat back looking for a short jack length If you bring the mat up, you've got three metres between the tee mark and the ditch, and that gives you a margin of error. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. Taking full advantage there. One inch. Yes, that's the problem when you lose a jack. Your opponent gets a chance to put it down exactly where they wish to have it. Sure's played one on the backhand. It's an inch away. Doesn't want to play that again in case he touches it. The target for him is somewhere between the jack and the green ball. That makes a two. And he's even better than that. He's right on the jack. Two red.
It's a narrow margin on this one. Has to get past the front green. Started to bend very late there. So he's loosened it out a little bit, but uh, not the best result considering he hit the target. Two red. Right. Just clipping that bolt, making full enough contact to move it anywhere. Almost better if you'd have missed it. <coughs> Closer, sir. Slightly favour yours. <coughs> five. I wonder what Alex is thinking of here because he can draw the shot. Right, cool. Alex has four timers remaining. He can draw through there if he wishes to and just try and get onto the ball or onto the jack. The alternative is to play weight and take all three balls, which he could almost do if he gets into the split in the forehand between the two balls. And if he gets that ball, it'll definitely get something of that one and could take the other away. At the moment, it looks like there's three shots against him. Two indicated and a slight favour for the third. Just playing for the draw. No. He's interested, it needs to stand up a bit yeah, longer. Just needs to hold on here and touch the jack. Well, he knew he was close. He doesn't chase up after them unless he knows it. Two right. Always just looks slightly under the head here. Just needed a little bit of jack contact. He's taking his opportunities. Yeah, big they, pick up there on the ninth end. I think they both are. Set score 11 7 after 9 8. Both taking their opportunities when the time comes to have another shot. It's always the problem with a, a large arena like this. It's required whenever the players are on the mat, just about to deliver. The 
sweetie packet syndrome, isn't it? Yeah, everything's just magnified, that's the thing. It's just so silent out there. Take with the second one brings that first one really right into play now. Alex has to score this end, keep this set going. if you want to go anywhere near that to be truthful with you hard to flick it off without the jack moving a wise ball because if the jack goes out that side it means that one would be there for it. Now he has to try and make a change here. It's a delicate shot just to turn the jack. You better go on a bit quicker. That's what he's trying. Both three spots covered. Yeah, clever bowls. Stuart just making sure everything is protected. Yeah, Knows he's holding set One this right end. Right. Yep, yeah, if the jack uh, bounces outside the rink, and it could do with that red ball being hit, uh, we're into the two re spots positions on the extreme side of the reviewing now. He's just trying to draw this off, realises that the hit shots have no benefit to him. I will hold off all day with that pace. One shot, first set, Stuart Anderson. Yeah. Enough weight to drag the jack back to his own ball for two, but it was a difficult one. Jack length 28 metres. Stuart Anderson keeping to slightly longer jack length as expected.
Well, I saw his family and supporters here, but it's a good crowd and also in from Walking Lake. In there, sure. Hungry. I'll show us my boats, please, Alan. Uh, your nearest one is uh, 12 inches short of Jacko. Last one shot, please, Alan. 15 inches short of Jacko. Start of a second set. It's very easy to lose concentration. <laughs> Tricky one for Stuart to get at this. He's three seconds he would like to use the benefit of that There's a, there is a shot available down inside to take the green ball out but goodness me it's a hard shot it's also a dangerous shot if it goes wrong well he's going for it too tempting I think it's very close he's got this oh, oh what a ball oh that is tremendous Such a good ball he's playing, he really has. He played that absolutely perfectly. Underneath the green short balls. Three rings. Oh, clean away. Slightly off target, he was taking probably two of his own balls out, but uh, confident enough to play the shot and play it so well. Alex having to do the same thing, go for the jack. Or the balls. How on earth did he go through that without touching anything? Didn't even look possible. Three shots, Stuart Anderson. Another big pick up from Stuart Anderson. 3 0, first down. Unbelievably, Alec just finding the gap down there. Jack Day, twenty seven and a half meters. Another sort of longish middle length. Another good first bowl and another good start to the second set. But Stuart's dad, Billy, knows he's seen more than enough of bowls over the years to know that uh, Stuart's playing well. But Alex Marshall will come right back at him. Building heads over the last few ends, and Alex has been playing good balls. But uh, there's only one in there, you can take them out, so not wasting any time trying to remove them early. Oh. 
first target was the jack, the second target was the two balls. Uh, hard to draw another shot whenever you've had two removed. You miss your chance. Uh, make up his mind. <laughs> that's, that's unusual. Forehand, then. I think so. I'll play the backhand, and now I play the forehand. Danger in the forehand is if you're up for the jack, but I don't think he's reaching. Very slightly. Wasn't far away. Indecision there. One shot, Alex Marshall. He was just showing what he's worried about there. He didn't want to drop his own ball out of the head. That's why he was uh, just checking on things. But the front green ball isn't very good for Alex Marshall. 
unusual for Alec not to be nailing it, especially on his favourite length. Stuart's taking advantage here, the opening two bowls. Could get his own here if he doesn't get the right. Good effort. Good effort. Wanted some movement on the jack, didn't get it. Clipping the first, the short bowl only to the two together so the jack would move. Anything between the jack and the green ball is good for another shot. Yep, good enough. Well played. Stayed away from it. The key was to stay away from the shot ball. Two right. <coughs> this is this is really quite difficult for Alex Marshall. Yeah, some back position, but it's not deep enough. That's Stuart Anderson. By his standards, this is uh, a good opportunity. Pick up another three. Set. Set score 6-1 after 3 Yeah, Sally's got off to a bad start on that end and it just progressively got more difficult. No, it's called to each If the ball was actually touching the jack, then any touch on the green ball, the jack would move pretty quickly. Even with a small gap, that would help. And there you go. Oh, fantastic ball. Too great. Even at 6-1, that's certainly uh, a long way to go. Alex Marshall just showing you hasn't gone away. Two beauties.
look at that. All in a line as well. Hasn't widened the target even by half a bow. It's a difficult draw. No doubt about it. Even if he hits it, the jack will squeeze out, probably onto the re-spot, the left-hand side of your picture, and I don't think he's going to... Well, I don't think he's going to get the shot out of that. And now he's got Stuart another has five time that's remain. Single ball target. Miss it, you're losing a four. Looks like he's pulled it. Oh, took his own two away as well, but that didn't really matter. I think Alex would have drawn a fourth anyway. It's going to be a relatively easy four shots, and that's going to bring Alex right back into this set. The amount of high scoring ends there have been, considering what a tussle these two players are having. Absolutely, 10 ends in the first set, 19 shots scored. One four and a couple of threes. The old two flying around the place. In this set, my goodness me, four ends played and 11 shots scored. Jack Lang, 29 and a half meters. Just over it. Good position ball though. Yep, give himself a chance with his next. I could just be wanting to get in there. Cover the head.
very close, Stuart. I would probably favour green very slightly. Time out call. Stuart moving on to the backhand to try and get to the wing green ball. It's just below Jack High. It's a great try here. Can he hurry? Oh, oh he's done enough. Oh, that is magical. It really is. Possible one down to two up by changing hands. Two red. Just got the slightest of touch off the front green bowl and was able to sit Alex's bowl down. Just trying to see how he's going to get out of this because it's a difficult one. <coughs> might be looking, because he played the forehand before, he might just be looking at the forehand again if he can get into the. Begin the red ball drop back, the jack could move to the other green one. If he gets into the jack there, then he can move it to the other green ball that's behind the head. I can't see anything in the backhand really worthwhile playing, to be truthful. Well, I thought he might be able to squeeze it through, but is he lying the shot? That's the question. This is Alex absolutely tremendous stuff. Good look. Oh. Not something we see every day. No, but they're out there, they're enjoying themselves, and because they're enjoying themselves, they're able to relax. <laughs> One Stuart, Stuart Anderson. Squeezing the jack here. Set score seven five after five. It's a great ball. We had to try it. At that point, he didn't know if he was landing the shot or not. What have I got to do to score? Tremendous bowling, tremendous atmosphere. Jack Dyke, 26 and a half metres.
rare short ball from Stuart Anderson. He's been playing very well with that second and third ball. Second chance to close this down. but it is a protector. <laughs> Alex might be asking who lies third shot here. Three. I think it's a front red. It's a third shot, possibly even fourth shot. So that means if Alex runs this, it could go wrong for him. I'm at call. Alex has two time match event. What he's looking at is whether he can get into the ball and the jack here. Now the jack through is worth two. The difficulty is if he hits the red ball and the green ball comes out, he's in deep trouble. He's two shots down. Not much on in the draw from the backhand point of view. So I think this might be a bit of weight. Going for it. He's down the back end, looking for the jack here. He's got it. Oh, it's gone on to the respot. I don't think that's going to make any difference. It's a fairly shortish jack length. Two shots, Alex Marshall. Made it well. Good brave shot. Good pick up. Sixth end. Set scores, 7-7, after 6 in. Have the re have the re have as well. Jack Lang, 29.5 metres. how that can happen when the cough just comes right at the point of delivery. Fifteen year old who played in this event earlier in the week. Just under two feet he lost his match, but he wanted to stay. That's his mum with him from Hong Kong. <coughs> Interesting choice of shot. Attacking early. Close to the jack. Oh, he's going to put this jack into a real nasty position. Yeah, he knows it. Oh, 
Draw the shot down the narrow side. Not sure if this is wide enough. I'd like to have seen that a little bit wider. Yeah, well, you can beat that okay. Still there on the narrow side, but you have to punch it out there and hope you get the weight right. Front inside edge of the mat. Well, this is a lot wider. Alec likes it. Wants to stop. And he left it for good reason. <laughs> Tremendous bow. Well, if anybody thought Alex Marshall's indoor abilities were sliding from him, just watch this man in action. Between yesterday and today, he's been brilliant. As is Stuart Anderson. Yeah, green. The only problem for Alex Marshall here is he doesn't want to get beside his own green ball because Stuart Anderson will take the two of them off. Different line with this. Flatter. Good effort. Just wanted to get in front of the red one. That would have been absolutely perfect. And Stuart Anderson may not even bother with this with a draw weight. He'll just play for the ball. Try and get it solid. Anything, take it off the rink. Ball goes. He's line one. If he was able to stay as well, it's two. Very controlled with. <laughs> very close to it. Just enough. One shot, Sir Anderson. Set score eight seven after seven eight. Didn't take much to flick the ball. And it bent very quickly as well. He was able to just hold on and get a little piece of that green. Just enough weight to turn it into the ditch for one. Acknowledgement there from Alec. Jack Lang's pretty seven metres. Last bowl is two feet short jack high. First bowl, nine inches gap. Alex knows by playing the forehand, if he rests into the shot ball, he'll get second. If he misses it, he gets shot. 
about second anyway. He's very close to this. Wants to get past his own ball. Right up to the jack for another shot. Alex clapped it. He knew it was in. This might necessitate a little bit of weight into it. He can still draw the shot. So this time he's drawn this. Yep, he's dropped back the shot. Brilliant ball from Alec Marshall. Could have played weight, the ball on the jack, didn't bother. Confident in his draw shots. One green. He did say to me that he was feeling so good that every ball just felt had a chance. That's a very nice place to be. But you, there are days sometimes when you get that as a, as a player that you just feel everything is possible. Yeah, and it's having the confidence, isn't it? <coughs> Do it very close. <coughs> oh, wow, what an effort that was. <laughs> oh, this game is wonderful. It's a great game of balls. in for two no just over it yep just carrying a foot or so one shot out of passing score eight eight after eight ends oh Rosie's having a wee look around Crowder making a noise Go, settle down again. She's <laughs> just looking pat down. Like Three ends to go. Definitely down on a, a flatter line with this. Yeah, giving this a chance, looking to break under the green bolt. 
The jack connection is good as well. He's played that very well indeed. Well done, Stuart. <laughs> We're getting ball after ball, aren't we? Quality. We're running out of superlatives here. Well, we are, but there's there's balls played all over the world and some great events in Australia, and they're wonderful to watch. Fantastic talent down there. But they will be enjoying this, anybody who's watching it. Oh, that's that inside line. Even the best in the world struggle with it. Looks like it's standing up for you and then all of a sudden it just eases its way inside. Stuart really, if he wants to close it, he plays the backhand. If he wants to play the forehand, he can close it and get a back ball. That's where he's going. Yep, you give it a chance. If it made it to his own, it was really good. Passing it is still good. <coughs> I think it's still worth this in the backhand because he's got a ball to punch in as well. Alex Marshall, if he takes one out, it's good. Playing what Stuart played earlier, a flatter line, more controlled weight. Oh, it's holding. Yeah. Oh, that weight was lovely for the job, but it's such a hard line to pick out. That's not the rink's fault, by the way. That's the same in any indoor carpet. Those two yard shots are, are very hard to play. <laughs> don't, don't think for one moment that this. Uh, that this rink is uh, unique in terms of having any issues. It's not, it's a very good surface. And we're getting quality balls, which proves that. <laughs> is he stopping in time? Don't know. Too hard anyway. Not sure, pop a measure on it. <coughs> Alex still looking at it. Stuart's got the mat. Three shots, Stuart Anderson. <laughs> Just made it. Set score 11 8 after 9 8. Seven and a half meters. Two hands to go. Alex Marshall. Well, he has to win this set to go into a tie break. He's three behind. If he loses a single, we're shaking hands. But if Alex can score, then he's got a chance going into the last end. But realistically, probably a two. Even a draw is just not enough. Another brilliant start from Stuart Anderson. His opening balls have been brilliant in this first set. If, sorry, this second set.
One Five ball, Alan, please. Sorry? Five ball, is it just short? Yeah, five inches short of jackpot. Good information, you now know it, five inches short. You've got a shoulder to come off at the right angle. Looks like he might be over this. Yeah, but he's still coming through. One round. The thing is that Alex Marshall will have the last ball on this end. He's got a chance to create something. The this. Yeah, uh, he wasn't just there to tuck it out, but what he has done is set up a situation where one ball might just lock in. Yeah. Alice has been playing well enough in this forehand to draw the shot, but uh, the two balls will go, so more than likely it'll be weight. saying the ball just looked in there just fell down and it meant that if he got top side of it it was going to lock all day long doesn't matter how hard you hit it and it made a really good connection there he won away if he'd have got the inside of the ball the two of them would have disappeared Marshall's got second shot. If the ball goes out, he gets a single. Stuart Anderson's trying to get deep on this, and that's a, uh, it's good enough for the deepest ball. I think the problem for Alex Marshall here is, is can he get two? One really isn't enough. It'll keep the game going, but... Time out called. Alex has one time out remaining. <laughs> so you've got the other red ball as well to the other side. That's not going to work. He's going to have to take this ball out and stay if he wants to. If he's happy to take a single shot, take the ball out. But at this moment in time, Stuart Anderson is holding his third World Championship singles title. He's got one hand on the trophy. And Alex Marshall, the six times world champion, save himself with this ball. Well, he's down, he's interested in it. They couldn't have played that any better to get the two red balls. Outstanding shot from Alex Marshall. He had to keep his own ball in. It's all about weight control, wasn't it? Two shots, Alex Marshall. Alex had to get the pace just perfect here Set to score, hit the ten, shot ball. Go on to Stewart's back ball and stay in the head for the second shot. We very nearly got the third. That was a very, very good execution, but the, the tactical aspect of it, to keep his ball in the head with the wit required, was truly brilliant. Jack 29 meters. Is that 28, is that? 29. 29. So Alex Marshall needs two shots on this end to win the set, and then we're into a three-end tie break. He scores one, a draw is not good enough. He's 
played some outstanding balls to stay with Stuart Anderson in this game. Just over. <coughs> drop down on the ball, that's virtually locked that ball in. before it even got to the jack. Fantastic ball from Stuart Anderson. Really closes this head down. Two right. Just coming in and picking up the jack here, dragging it through to his waiting bolt. Very pleased with that. He's been so good, so consistent in this match. He's lost one big count of a four. That was back in the fourth end. Alex has been truly brilliant as well. He's having to come out with some massively important balls. <coughs> I'm just going to go through. Now Stuart will be saying, right, I stand away from this. I'm going to try and cover those two green. Once again, Alex Marshall will be in a situation of trying to save this match for his last ball. Yes, indeed, it's still there. Don't get me wrong, it, it can be played, but the precision needed for this ball is almost off the chart. He has to get the jack, he must run it back to his two green balls, not too far, not too short. <coughs> Once again, Stuart Anderson, one hand on the trophy. It's not going to get back. Ball over. Oh, Stuart Anderson was superb in that game. There's no doubt about it, John, that he really played so well. He did. I mean, the interesting thing was, every time he scored a big count, Alec just kept coming back at him. Um, they had such a good tussle between them. The heads were changing with every single bowl summons. It was a brilliant, brilliant final. It was, and there's emotion out there. No doubt about it, Stuart Anderson has third world title. Turns his singles, Alex Marshall, congrats to him. I think Alex realised that Stuart was just, just a better player on the day, but Alex Marshall was brilliant as well. He's really back in top form and almost at top of the world, but he will get all that ranking points. He'll be back next year. A little conversation with the players towards the end. Congratulations from Alan Thornhill. 12 7, 13 10.
Oh, the crowd left that game. It's one of the best games we've seen. So we knew both players were going to be top form after the semi-finals, and they absolutely proved it. Brilliant balls. That was an early four in the third end of the first set. Alex Marshall saying, I'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. And he gets his three back. That was the following end. And Stuart Anderson playing the conversion shots. And that was added to the beautiful draw shots. Single ball out. Another three. That was end one and end three in the second set. Give him a 6-1 lead. And Alex Marshall hit back with a big count of four on the fourth end. And then Stuart Anderson picked up a beautiful two. And then was cut down to one with Alex Marshall's fantastic ball. And that was just enough to get that ball out. Stuart Anderson was starting to take over and put a bit of pressure on Alex Marshall. Beautiful. Managed to save that on the 10th end, but that was the ball to win the championship. Congratulations to both players. A fantastic final and one that they can both be proud of. Sure, Stad Billy in tears. Not much between them. Total shot scored. Well, you know, you have to chase the ends at the end of the day. But look, it doesn't matter about the stats. It was just a classic game and a wonderful atmosphere out there between two fantastic players. was a classic game indeed, deserving, fitting of a final between two wonderful players, Alex Marshall and Stuart Anderson. Alex, I'll start with you. Um, every time it looked as if Stuart was getting away from you, you kept hanging in there. It was a tough match to play, I imagine, from your perspective. Yeah, you know, it was very difficult. As I said in my speech uh, before the game, I had to beat Stuart with the first two balls and I didn't. He was absolutely relentless at times and when I did get a chance, I converted the shot. But he would just come back and draw a touch or whatever. But, you know, you cannot lose fours and two threes to this guy. You cannot do it because it's, it's, too, it's too much to come back from. But, yeah, you know, at the end of the game, I, I played a couple of brilliant balls to keep myself in it. Yeah, but I've always been known for producing the big shots at the right time. But just fell one shot at the end there. But, you know, I th just think Stuart, I think that's the best. He's been the best player for two weeks. And he was sensational, sensational this afternoon. <laughs> The final has been played in a wonderful spirit as well between the two of you. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen you lay down on the blue ring before. I think that's the first, but I'm glad Stuart actually helped me up because I would have been struggling. <laughs> and just from your own perspective, uh, we remember we're actually having a look at it now because we, we want to capture it for posterity. <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought I was guaranteed to get the shot there, but when the jack rumbled about a little bit, Stuart put his finger up and they just felt walking up and knocking him out, to be honest. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, that was, a big, that was a big change in the game. If I get two, mm. you know, it puts me right back in the set again. But, but yeah, it's like a beach twill line on the bowling green. <laughs> I was going to say it was a knockout blow, but you're entitled to describe it as you want. I, I wanted to ask you about the week that you've had, because we've mentioned it before earlier in the week. You came in unseeded, sponsors pick. Um, but I imagine, now that you've climbed up the rankings, you'll earn the right to be here next year. Yeah, you know, as I say, I'm very much indebted to Potter's Leisure, you know, for giving me the well card. You know, I was down at number 18, and it's, uh, yeah, it's not a place where I want to be, because I would rather always be in the top 16 than not be in it. But yeah, I've had a brilliant week. You know, I beat some terrific players along the way, put in some brilliant performances, but just fell that little bit short at the end. But, you know, I'm very happy getting to the final. You know, I think that was my ninth final I've been in, lost to, uh, no, I think it's, no, eight finals. One six, lost two. But, you know, I cannot grumble at that. I've had a fantastic <laughs> week. Back up the ranking list where I should be. And, you know, I, I know I'm good enough in this portable rink to beat anybody on, on my day. And there's one thing for sure. I'll mm. be back coming stronger than ever. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So 
So, Stuart, you're halfway there to his six titles. How does today's victory feel? A third open singles title. Yeah, it means everything. Even to come here, lift one trophy in our mind too, being three finals, it's just, yeah, it's been some two and a half weeks, but every time I thought I had Alex, bang, there he came again, and then there he came again, and then again, and it was just like, <laughs> he's ever going to go away? And then, yeah, it just, yeah, I think that's the best performance I've put in this carpet over the last 14 years, 12 years when I've been here. It was amazing. It was relentless, as uh, Alex says himself. You just, every time that he looked as if he had an opportunity, you found the right ball. I mean, there were so many examples of it in N7 and 9 in particular. You played a couple of uh, really important balls. We're going to just have a, a brief look at it. I, I know sometimes the final is a bit of a blur, but if you can recall um, this particular moment. Yeah, like, these shots, to be honest, we had won the 100. You just need to play that timing shot up there and just hope it holds. And yeah, it's a massive one because when you win the first set, obviously Alex needs to chase double what you're leading. So yeah, I think there was a lot of big balls played in the match, a lot of good drawn shots. And yeah, I don't know what to say, so. <laughs> we've, got one, we've got one more example of your brilliance. This was from N9 of the second set. And again, if you could talk us through another magical moment. Yeah, li listen, seeing your line doubles and you've got last ball, you have to make your last ball count. You do. There's, you're up against one of the greatest in the sport. You, you, need to, you need to add these extra shots in, and it's vital. And can I just ask what it was like embracing your dad at the end of that? Yeah, and listen, I can't say words mean nothing when your family's here. So. And there are a lot of other spectators in the crowd up there, you know who you are. And I think the round of applause to everyone in here, you are excellent. Thank you. And I've asked you all week about celebration plans. Yeah, and it'll be the same as yesterday. I'm going to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, commiserations to Alex Marshall. A fine effort in defeat, but congratulations to your champion, Stuart Anderson! Please give a big warm welcome to your presentation party from Imagine Cruising Events Director Andy Edwards and from Potter's Resorts Managing Director John Potter. <laughs> Continue that applause ladies and gents for your runner up this year Alex Marshall MBE. But now, ladies and gents, your 2024 World Open Singles Champion, Stuart Anderson! <laughs> Keep that applause going, ladies and gents. Three times World Champion, Stuart Anderson! Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Stuart Anderson, the World Open Singles winner for 2024. Unlucky to Alex, but he's back in the top 16. So we'll see him once again back on the tour. So just before we go, I'd like to thank a few people. Massive thanks to the sponsors, Imagine Cruising. We'll see a little advert for them before we go off air. Thank you as always to Potter's Resorts, Optical Media, our streaming team, everybody at the BBC. And finally, from everybody here at the World Balls Tour. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>